Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we're going to talk about yet another tkinter widget. This time it's going to be the text widget. So the text widget is this one that you see right here. It's a multi-line text edit. So this will enable you or enable the user actually to write some text and input it into the application. But in this case the text is multi-line. You may have seen the entry before. The entry was a single line widget. It would take a single line of text and we were able to perform different actions with the entry. In this video, we'll talk just about the text. I will show you how you can create this text in which you can type stuff, change the font, change the width, the height, and what do they mean. I'll also show you how you can retrieve the text using this get text button. I'll show you how you can insert text. So you can see I just inserted this text right here. And I can show you how you can also delete text using this delete text button. So as you can see, each of these buttons has its own purpose and its own set of functions that we're going to execute. So without further ado, let's get started. I'll walk you through the code and I'll explain how we can use this text widget. All right. So in front of me, I have some tkinter starter code. Now, if you have any experience with tkinter, even the most basic experience, you probably know what I'm talking about here. Just before I forget, I'm using VS code as usual. You can use any Python text editor or IDE that you like. And yeah, let's get started. So first thing first, you have to import tkinter as always. Next, you have to create your root window, which is the parent window of all your other widgets. And this will be the tkinter.tk. Finally, you will just have to call window.mainloop. So the main loop will be executed so long as you're executing your tkinter application. This is an infinite loop that is running. Now let me run my application. You can see it's blank. We just have a blank window that's running. When I press on this X right here, this main loop will stop being executed. All right. So first things first, I want to add a text widget. So this is pretty straightforward. I can do so using the following. I would just say creating the text. This is just a comment here. I say tkinter.txt, I pass window as its parent. Here I'm saying you should put this um, text widget as a child to this window, which is the root widget. And finally, I say text.pack. Why .pack? Well, as you know, in tkinter, you always have to do two things whenever you want to add a widget to your screen. First, you have to create it, so what we did here. Second, you have to either pack, place, or grid this widget using these geometry managers. So this will enable you to position and organize your widgets on your screen. All right, so this is the most basic format or the most basic version of the text that we can create. Now let me actually run it and show you how it looks like. It looks like this. So you can type stuff here. This is a text editor. Um, you can write anything you like. It's also resizable. However, the text itself remains the same. And yeah, that is what it looks like. So for now, this is the default version. We haven't specified any other properties other than the window, just specifying the parent. And we haven't really made any modifications to the default text. So you can see we can just type stuff, anything that you want. It's very similar to a text editor. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to change the width of this text editor. Let me run it again. Now width equals 80. I don't think we see much of a difference, but actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the width to be eight. And now I'm going to show you how it looks like. You can see it looks pretty weird and long. Why is that? So what does the width mean? Is this eight pixels, eight points? What does that really stand for? So here's what width means. Width means eight characters. So it's as wide as eight characters. So if I say A, B, C, A, B, C, those are six characters, A, B, C. So you can see the ninth character doesn't fit on the line because our width is eight and width is equal to um, eight different characters on the same line. So this is number of characters per line. Okay, so actually let me change that back. So let's actually keep it 80 and this is a reasonable size. All right, the next thing we can change is the height. So let's say a height of 15. And now if I run it, you can see it's also kind of changed. What does a height of 15 mean? We said that the width is the number of characters, right? So with 80, now we can fit 80 characters on the same line. Height is the number of lines. So now I can fit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 to be exact. So you can see 15 lines on the screen. So specifying the height and the width enables you to resize or sort of um, redefine the height and width of your text using the characters as well as the number of lines. All right. 
The last thing we're going to do just to format this text would be to change the font and we're going to do so using the following. So we will set the font to be Arial, which is a very popular font, and we're going to use a font size of 20. So 20 will enable you to see sort of the stark difference in the text size. So you can see the text is much larger and this is the Arial font. Okay. So now we've changed the font, just note one thing, the font is always a uh, two tuple. So you can see this tuple, the first thing is the font name and the second thing is the font size. All right, perfect. Well, now I'm able to type as a user, if I run it again, I can type whatever I want on this, okay, <laughs> whatever I want on this screen. But I want to be able to retrieve the text. So as a programmer, I want the user to type some text, but then I want to retrieve the text and do stuff with it. Like that's the point of an application, right? So how are we going to do so? Here's how we'll do it. So we are going to introduce a button that will be the get button. So this is what it will look like. It's a simply a tkinter.button. Now, if you've seen any of my previous tutorials, you know that this is pretty straightforward. You just define a tkinter.button. You pass window as the parent, saying this button belongs to the window. So the parent is window. The text is the text that will appear on the button and it will just be get text. So get the text from the text widget. Finally is the command. So this is where you uh, write the name of the callback function that you want to execute whenever the button is clicked. So when the button is clicked, go ahead and execute this get text function. Now, what is this get text function? We haven't created it yet. Here you go. I'll explain it in a second. But one last thing before that, the last thing you also have to do with the button is you have to pack it. Again, everything in tkinter. Define, first step, second step, pack it, place it, or grid it. So you need to position it somehow on your screen. Okay? So here you have this get text function. What does it do? It prints out text.get. And the text.get function is not very intuitive. It just has a bunch of random numbers. I'll explain what those numbers are in a second and it's better explained through a demo. Let's run it again. And let's clear here the output so you can see what gets printed. Okay, so I'm going to type, uh, hello world. Uh, this is my text program using tkinter. And I'm intentionally going to new lines just so that I can show you um, what is the difference when we print the get text? Okay, so again, here we're getting the text from 1.0 to 1.5 and we're going to print it. Let's actually press this button for get text and you can see that just hello was printed. Okay, I'm going to copy this text and I'm going to reuse it multiple times in my demos. Okay, perfect. So I just did this using 1.0 and 1.5 and it got this word right here. Let me just change this to 2.0 and 2.5 so i can also show you how this works i'm just going to paste the same text so i don't waste too much time on um, creating this so let's get text and this just printed out p-r-o-g-r -R from this line so maybe you are already uh, coming to your own conclusions about what these numbers mean but i'm just going to explain it to you step by step when you have i'm actually going to use the text itself to write when you have 1.0 or 2.0 or 2.5, this is usually in the form of line dot column. Okay, column here is usually like, think of it as character, character number. So when I say start at 1.0, so when I say text.get 2.0 uh, 2 or 1.0, so let's go with 2.0. So let's say start at 2.0. Here I'm saying start at line two, which is this line right here, character number zero, which is this very first guy right here. One thing you have to note is the lines start from one. So this is line one, line two, line three, line four. But characters start at zero. It's a bit annoying, but uh, yeah, you kind of have to get used to it. This is Python and this is how this tkinter works. Okay. All right. So this is 2.0 and it will stop at 2.5 exclusive. So let's say 2.0, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4 and 2.5. So this one is being excluded. So we will just stop here. And this will get me the first five characters on line number two. So this is how you would do this. So you use text.get, then you specify the indexes of the text you want to get. Now, say I want the entire thing. So I want all of the text printed on my screen. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to stop the application, change this back to 1.0. So this is the very start. Line one, character zero. 
and rather than 2.5 I'm just gonna write the word end so here end will just get me whatever is the end of my text let's actually press get text and you can see my entire text got printed out here in my output so this is how get text works and this is how these indexes in tkinter this is how they work okay so I hope you were able to kind of understand, I like rewind a bit maybe if the numbers are still confusing for you, but essentially this is how it works. Anyways, we'll go over it again when I show you how you can delete certain text. Before we get to delete, I'm going to show you how you can actually insert some text. So let's say for example, the user presses on a button and this button you want to use it to insert text. So I'm actually going to just change these back to the way they were. And now we have the inserts. So the insert button, again, a tkinter.button, then you pass it to the window, and then you specify the text, which will be insert text. The command that will be executed is something called insert text, which we haven't written yet. And of course, you have to pack this button to include it in your window. So this insert text function looks as follows. We use text.insert. And then what we're going to do is we will simply specify the index at which we will insert and then we will just, you know, type whatever text we want to insert. So here, I, let's say I want to just insert this text. By insert, we mean we're adding this text to the text thing on our um, window. Okay, let's run it. So as you can see here, if I press on insert text, you can see we just got this just inserted text. Now, let me actually clear this and paste the previous text I was using to test my application. Let's press insert text again. You can see it got inserted right here at the very start. Why at the start? This is because we specified 1.0 is the index to insert. So line one, character zero. So just start here and insert the text here. Of course, if I change this to be 3.0, let's stop and rerun. Let's paste the text and press insert. You can see it just got inserted here. Okay, so this is how you can insert text dynamically or programmatically through the use of a button. And this is how you insert it at a specific index. Okay, perfect. So we have one last function that we want to try out and we want to explain. This is the deleting the text. Of course, first we need to just create a button. As you can see right here, you have a tkinter.button. So again, pass it to window, the text is delete text, and you need a command called delete text. So this command, it will look like this. So what will this command do? Simply we will call the function text.delete, and after you call text.delete, what we'll do is simply specify the index at which we will delete, and here we just chose to say end. So this is very similar to get. Here you also have to specify two different indexes in the text, and this is the starting point of where you want to delete as well as the ending point of where you want to delete. By saying end, we're saying just do the whole thing until the very end. Let's run it again. Okay, let's actually paste our text, our test text, okay? Let's clear the output here, and I'm just going to press on delete text. As you can see, this part, the entire three lines here were deleted. We said start at 2.0 so line 2 character 0 and delete until the very end now of course if you want to delete the whole thing you should probably know this by now you should delete starting 1.0 so now again paste whatever delete the text and it deletes the whole thing you want to just delete the first line you will start with 1.0 and go to 2.0 this will delete the first line of text so let's paste again delete text and you can see the first line was deleted keep in mind the last index here is exclusive so it will not delete uh, 2.0 it will stop it will stop at the character just behind 2.0 okay so that's really how you perform these basic functions using the text widget in tkinter of course the text widget can be much more complex it's a very rich type of text editor, you can add images, you can do multiple things. Hopefully we'll see that in the coming tutorials. But for now, we covered these three main functions and I also showed you how you can do some basic formatting of your text widget. Please leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.